Hey folks, Scooter Varto here. Today we're doing a review on a HFC 4 inch pistol, the HG132 in black. Uh, I can answer a few of my own questions now, because this is going to be the first time I've actually looked at it, a revolver, like, you know, played with it, looked at it, examined it. This is actually for another member of the uh, local community, but while I'm waiting for him to pick it up, I'm going to check it out. You betcha. Some of the questions I've always had about pistols like this was, was the chamber where you put the BB, was that the barrel? Or was this just a, a, an empty tube big enough to allow a BB to go through so thus your barrel was the width of your chamber? Um, that's what I'm going to find out really. That's a question I've always had. So let's go inside and we'll take a look at this thing first open. We have our instructions. Ooh, English. Multiple languages. English, Chinese, German, looks like Spanish, and I don't know. The last one I'm not really sure. But nice instruction menu. Sure, sure, sure. Your general warnings, of course. Warranty card. Go figure. Your customary bag of BBs. And the revolver. Very nice, very nice. It's good and heavy. Nice and meaty unit. The standard revolver. Push forward to release. Sure as hell. It's actually quite nice. Pop one of these units. Oh, okay, well, instead of one, we'll take them all out. Let's have a look. Let's not drop any now. So it looks like, in this case for instance, sure as hell, the BB goes in the front and this is just basically to hold it. It actually has an inner barrel. Sure it does. That's kind of neat. So let's just drop one in here and set these down right now. Drop one unit in. Go in nice and easy. Oh, I see how that works. There's a little spring-loaded bit right here that uh, connects with the front of the chambered unit. Pop that back together. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's kind of neat. So, when it's in the firing position, it's good and sealed. So, the BB's probably, you know, right at the, what I assume would be the hop-up rubber. It's not really a hop-up, I guess. There doesn't appear to be a hop-up in this unit. That's a very, very nice unit. Safety back. Awesome. So, yeah, what I'll do is, uh, it's a gas HFC, or what they call it, green gas. You know, propane. Mm-hmm. So what I'll do is I'll uh, gas it up, we'll chrono it, I'll gas it up and we'll load it up, and then we'll chrono it. Be right back. Loading the BB is obviously quite simple. Just load it in the front, push it in, change the unit. I think it'd probably be safer at first to hold that over your finger because it goes together way better. All right, so let's go gas her up and we'll do some quick chrono testing. All right, so we're getting ready to chrono here. And the neat thing about this is it's a double action. So what we'll do is we'll try, we'll do six shots, um, Cocking the hammer each time and pulling the trigger, and then we'll do six shots of double action. All right, so cocking the hammer. 20 weight doubles. All right, that's six shots. I'm gonna reload and we'll do six by double action. All right, so a quick jaunt through the instruction manual let me to find out that they say that this gun will operate the best if you wait two seconds between shots. So again, six shots, double action, with a couple between. So we're seeing a constant degradation of speed, not due to fire or shooting fast or anything like that, more so for probably running out of gas. So we're going to reload the chamber. We did five seconds of gas. We're going to reload the chamber and then try one more time. All right, so we've refilled the gun, and now we're going to do six shots in the double action format. The instructions mention that you should wait two shots, two seconds between shots for optimal pressure. Let us find out, shall we? 20 weight devils. Two seconds between shots. Ooh, where'd that one come from? So it looks like uh, double action. Maybe it runs out of gas a lot faster. We'll try one more time again with the uh, single action. One second, please. 20 weight doubles. All 
All right, I'll reload and I'll be right back. All right, folks, welcome back. So we're recharged the gun and reloaded with BBs. And now we're going to do six shots, the double action format, with two seconds between 28 doubles. Pretty consistent, pretty consistent. Um, what we'll do now is just do a 25 foot at a target and see how the range is. One second, please. Alright. Due to the uh, CQB speed of this thing, under 250, um, I'm going to stay with 28 BBs. 25 feet. Used to firing a 1911. There's more BB usually. One sec. All right, six more. All right, and we're going to go six more. Right back. Damn it, bump the camera. Jesus, what is this? 19 to 24? I think the second one was a dud. I must not load it a BB. You gotta stop bumping the damn camera. So it is 25 to 30. I blew it on one here a minute ago. Let's see if I can find that chamber ground and move it into position. Alright, and this is the chamber ground that I missed. Hey, be right back. Alright, 43 to 48 on one charge. I'm going to do one more rack. Very big. All right, 48 to 54. These are the last ones. That's a lot of BBs. That's lots. Plus, each time I put an extra one in, so what is that? Jeez, that's a lot out of one charge, boy. That's a good buy. It's, I, I'm shooting a little low. It's just probably because I don't shoot a revolver more often than not. Maybe a guy could adjust the sights, but it's not mine to adjust. I'm going to leave it to the new guy, Mr. Will. Stay tuned for final thoughts. So, adjusting the back sights is simply turning a screw. So, I did it. <laughs> so, I noticed all the BBs are low on the target. So, we're going to go one last rack of six. Yeah, I knew there was a dud. I took the trigger anyways. <laughs> That's much better. I think that's going to be way more efficient. That's really hitting the bull now. All right, now stay tuned for final thoughts. All right, my final thoughts on the uh, HFC HG-132 in black 4-inch. It's a very nice, very nice airsoft pistol. It's incredibly efficient. You saw over 60 shots, one charge. Shooting, you know, pretty decent groupings at 25 feet. And then as soon as I raised the sight up a little bit, we went right into the happiness. You know, very nice gun. Very nice. I'd probably use 20s with it all day long. All right, um, it's a nice weapon, and and for the price that uh, it's worth up here, you know, 165. Phew, laughing, laughing, very efficient. Don't know how much the bullets cost, but a guy's gonna want a buttload of them. Say 10 speed loaders, six each. Walk on the field with 66 bullets, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I think it's a very nice airsoft gun. Thanks for watching, folks. Play hard, play fast, play safe.